Previously, we learned that solving an equation is finding the value of the variable that makes the two sides equal. Trigonometric equations is the same provided that the variable is a trigonometric function. Solving trig equations is not only finding the trig function, which plays the role of x, but also the angle of it. Trig equation could be in different forms. Now, we are going to study simple ones. Let's have a look at this example. 2 cosine theta is equal to 1. This is a simple trig equation in which cosine theta plays the role of x. To solve this equation, we divide both sides by 2. The same thing will be done with the trig equation. We divide both sides by 2 and this gives us cosine theta is equal to half. Now to find theta without the calculator, let's ask ourselves a question. In which quadrants cosine is positive? The cosine function is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. So, angle theta exists in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. What acute angle whose cosine is half? The acute angle whose cosine is half is 60 degrees. So, the first angle is 60 degrees. What is the reflection of 60 in the fourth quadrant? The reflection of 60 in the fourth quadrant is negative 60 degrees, which is 300 degrees. So, the angles whose cosine is half within one complete cycle are 60 degrees and 300 degrees. The radian measures of these degrees are pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. And this the solution of the given equation within one complete cycle. Let's have a look at this example. Root 2 sec theta minus 2 equals 0. Sec theta here plays the role of x. How do we solve this equation? To solve this equation, we add 2 to both sides, and then we divide both sides by root 2. The same thing will be done with this trig equation. Adding 2 to both sides gives us this, and dividing both sides by root 2 gives us that. Now, this is the value of the trig function. We need to find the value of theta. To find theta, it is better to convert it to the basic function. The reciprocal of sec theta is cosine theta. So, cosine theta is equal to root 2 over 2. Now what acute angle whose cosine is root 2 over 2? The angle whose cosine is root 2 over 2 is 45 degrees. What other angle within full cycle the whose cosine is root over 2? Since the cosine is positive in quadrant 4, so the other angle is its reflection 360 minus 45, which is 315 degrees. To sum up, in trigonometric equation, trig functions plays the role of a variable. Solving it means not only to isolate the trig function alone, but also to find the angle that makes it true. Theta has two values as it exists in two quadrants. Next we'll study more difficult trig equation.